day 966. Starting it with the evening run. So, lots to catch up on. Jennifer stopped by for chocolates today. Yeah. Scared the manager that she was actually gonna bring her 35 boxes of the chocolates. I didn't tell me what she said. Did she make me pay? She was like, uh, uh, uh. She knew it was a joke. Charlie, I think, got a little shy. Oh, she did. She was like, you got 33 more boxes left in the car. So she got really quiet. Did she really do it? No. no. I don't know. Jennifer said it's going to be a difficult three miles. Because the first mile is the warm up. The next mile is sub six pace. And then the last mile is just the last person to get back has to buy dinner and treats, right? Thank goodness I got plenty of treats in the <laughs> Almost at halfway. We're just going one and a half out, one and a half back. Nice and easy. Jennifer's got plans for us for the rest of the evening. Okay. What was the plans, Jennifer? No movie. Okay, care to elaborate about the movie? It's torture and brutal. And it's the new Saw movie. Okay. The new Saw. So, so it's not PG. It's not Very friendly, happy movie. And more, I hope. Is that just in the spirit of Halloween? Yes. I wish it was like that all year. We're gonna put the reaper up at some point. At some point, he's just deflated right now because they. Jennifer would like to move him to from one corner to the other. So there's probably more scene, but. We need to time down so that when he, if there's any breeze or anything, he doesn't flat back and hit the neighbor's little studio. They're not studio. They're a little deck and potentially pop them. So we need to tie him down to our balcony, the handrails right there at the balcony, so that he doesn't fly around too much and he can kind of lean forward and give us a good two to three foot clearance before he hits anything behind him. Last thing we need is to put him up and enjoy him for a couple of days, and then he deflates, and then we're all sad and short. A giant blow up, or a giant inflatable Halloween dude. Point one left. Finishing up before the sun sets. Kept it pretty easy. We did 8:30 ish, and yeah, 805, and now. I'm not sure. There's still the weights. I just told Jerry, let's keep it easy. No need to push. Just trying to keep the legs moving. No. Give them a little shake out before the workout tomorrow morning. All right. Good 814. Three miles. Jennifer just took another second to click over. And we're done. Nice and easy. Legs feel good. Once feel warmed up, ready to go for tomorrow, which is what we want. We don't want them feeling tired or lethargic. We want them to feel like, oh, I could do a little more. I could have ran a little faster. That's the point we want to leave off. So we can just rest the rest of the night. I'm sure with the movie, it should help a little bit as long as we have fluids in. I imagine we're gonna come back and, assuming we're not too tired, finally put up the Grim Reaper guy so he can, so he can hang there. Do they look like Christmas lights? Maybe a little bit, cause the, cause the green. No, it's the right ones. They're just, I'm sure at night we'll see a little more orange in there. Saw movie. I don't know if it's the fourth or fifth movie in the franchise. Ten. There are ten Saw movies. Ten, Charlie. I don't believe it. There's ten of them. 
I don't know if this is the 10th or the next one. Or there's already 10 out. This 11th. I don't know. But 10 is a lot. It's a whole lot. Two hours later. I'm not disappointed. The movie was a what? Absolutely a must see, and I'm gonna see it probably like a couple more times. I'm gonna act brand new when I have my sister and their kids go watch it. <laughs> that movie was great, I'm not disappointed. I was under the wrong notion that this was a prequel. It's not, it's Saw 10. So there's something that happens, or I guess, around Saw 6 or 7. <laughs> makes sense, but I thought it was a prequel because. The trailer shows that he goes in and he's talking to the doctor and the doctor gives him a month or so to live. And so I thought that's what kind of set his his whole head straight about, or not straight, but his whole corruption of I'm going to make people fight for their lives kind of a thing. So that's what I thought. And then there was a couple other facts that kind of lead to that. But it's it in the end. Saw 10. So I'm a little lost. You never said I need to watch the couple that I missed yeah. to get it all. Because apparently the guy that dies didn't die. As intense as I remember it. Actually, I think this one's probably more intense than the other ones were. So brutal and just yeah, cut, 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 very, cut. very, very brutal. It's perfect. intense. It was, I think if I would have eaten a full meal, it probably would not have <laughs> stayed down. I feel like I could have ate a chicken wing and watched what he was picking at his brain. Oh, okay. Okay. We don't need to <laughs> go there. That was really cool. They did really great with that. Oh, I thought that was funny. I was laughing. I, I thought that was really funny about the intestines being used as a rope. That was funny. She's like, yeah, that one. <laughs> now we sound like it's laughing. Not funny. It was lovely. <laughs> they it's use not it and funny. then it squeaks under the wheel and then they're pulling it. <laughs> that was funny. That was hilarious. I thought it, it made me laugh a little bit. It wasn't a comedy. I know, but it's like, <laughs> it how a smart though. thing. It was smart to think like your intestines pull out so long enough to do what you need it for. Like, if you're desperate and the body's already dead. Take your intestines out. Take their intestines out. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. It was, mm -hmm. it was like, a, I, thought it was, I thought that was really genius. Or she was, was already hilarious. dead. I thought and she was going to try to use her body as mm -hmm. like a weight thing to I thought, like. Um, when the, the people were there, I thought that was the, the cartel. Wait, say that again? At the beginning of the movie, when, when the was, van cuts them off. The van cuts them off. And things, I yeah. thought that was the cartel. so much of it what part like was it? I get that that's what saw is right like he gets people into these little chambers and in, in a sense it's torture but to him the character's scheme is that these people are, are living the wrong life and in order to get them to realize that they have to do something really intense to realize that if they really want to live or not that's what I like but, about they, it. but they really focused in on a lot of the blood cutting aspect. I know, that was awesome. But what part did you, when you went like this, I can't, I'm trying to think what part made you do that when you went, like, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what scene was it, it. It just made my body, like, not feel right. What? Really? It made me want to what? rewind. Oh. I, know, I want to know, I wish <laughs> I knew. said the movie theaters, I can't rewind the movie. I want to know, I'm trying to think what part had you turn. I can't even picture what it was, but do you remember? Really? <laughs> yeah, when the girl starts cutting her own leg off. Is that when you did it? Yeah, that's what made my body kind of. When she was doing that, like, that thing. I want to Google that invention. He said that the man. You've never man, seen that thing before? No, I've seen it in well, other scary movies. Totally, stop being ridiculous. 
Um, I've I, I've seen it used in other movies, like other little torture movies, but it's a real thing. <laughs> the person who invented it, and I'm just like, oh, well, they he gave a name who had the very great description, you know. I'm like, okay, this is an actual thing. I but, thought that it was so crazy just by her grabbing it with her hands and stuff. And it already cut through her. Skin. So if you caught back in for the night, got a quick bite to eat, brush your teeth. So now we're done, ready for bed, get ready for tomorrow. Join your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.